Let's read the question together. Figure one shows how magnesium and chlorine atoms form magnesium chloride. Only the outer electrons are shown. The dots and the crosses represent electrons. Describe as fully as you can what happens when magnesium reacts with chlorine to make magnesium chloride. Answer in terms of electrons. So the command word here is describe. That means we need to say simply what's going on. We don't need to explain why it's going on. So what exactly are we describing? We're describing what happens when magnesium reacts with chlorine to make magnesium chloride. And crucially, we need to answer in terms of electrons. So we must explain what's going on and describe that in terms of electrons. So let's look at the dot and cross diagrams. What's going on here? Magnesium loses its two outer shell electrons to become a magnesium two plus ion. The chlorine atoms each gain one electron from magnesium into their outer shell to become chloride ions with a one minus charge. And it's the electrostatic force of attraction between the magnesium two plus ion and the chloride one minus ion that actually makes the magnesium chloride. Now, this is a six mark question. This means we're interested in the quality of written communication. You don't have to have all the details about what's going on, but you do need to have a logical flow. Now, your examiner will first of all level your answer. A level one would be one to two marks. This is where you've identified and stated points clearly, but you haven't necessarily linked them together. A level two response would be three or four marks and you have relevant points and you've tried to link them together logically a little bit. A level three allows you to get the most marks, five to six points, and this is when you have that truly logical flow and have a little bit more detail to what's going on. So let's have a go at writing a level three answer. So what's going on? First of all, we're going to start with magnesium. Magnesium loses its two outer shell electrons to become a two plus ion. Meanwhile, chlorine gains one electron into its outer shell to become a one minus ion. The oppositely charged ions attract each other and make magnesium chloride. This would be a logical flow. We've dealt with what's happened with magnesium, what's happened with chlorine, and then how they come together. We have plenty of information. We know that magnesium loses electrons. We know the number it loses and we know what it becomes. And we know for chlorine, the number of electrons it gains and what it becomes. And then we know that the ions are attracted together in this ionic compound. 